uh, he's been at the council for many, many years. Um, I don't know about how your hair stays black unless you use some type of chemical. In it, but, uh, I have to tell you. But uh, he, he, he really, it, it, he is in a difficult position, there's no doubt, because he has, uh, I have, obviously has to keep uh, many other people happy, his colleagues happy. And as I look around at some of them, sometimes it's not, much, it's not easy to do, but uh, he does it. He manages to be uh, fair to everybody. And uh, he's our council president. And, uh, you know, we work together very closely. We've had disagreements, but we disagree behind closed doors. We don't yell at each other. We don't scream at each other. We don't belly bump. We don't do stuff like that. But uh, seriously, he, he is really, uh, truly, you know, and, and being the council president is very difficult because, as I said earlier, you have to please your other members and make sure that, obviously, they get things done in their district. And they do. And, and we have a hardworking council. But uh, without further ado, once again, I want to introduce the Council President, Robert Russo. Thanks, Mayor. Honored guests of the dais, citizens, friends, welcome to this inaugural day of this magnificent building. Uh, as many of you know, we've had a renaissance in Johnson over the last uh, 15 to 20 years. A lot of good things have happened in this town, and it's through the diligence and the good effort of our people that we've been successful in doing this. Mr. Divino not only is a meticulous carpenter, but he's also a very well-rounded uh, person, and he runs this court with complete efficiency. He's done a great job here, and I'm, I'm sure he's a model to other courts in the, in the state. I know they call on him to help with their software programs. Uh, as you can see, we have a beautiful library right there that was done recently within, uh, within budget and very expediently. We have a beautiful soccer complex there, which is also done by volunteers. It's the price of approximately $2 million, and that was all done by volunteer work. It's state of the art. We have two brand new fire stations in this town, and we, we are creating a municipal complex here. This is just another link in our complex, and everything's within a quarter mile of, of this, of this uh, facility where we can get the, the justice or the access to town government. In addition to the court, this is also going to be the council chambers. So we've been on the council for 17 years now. We've been like gypsies. We've gone from the town hall, we've gone to the high school, we've gone to a coffee shop. So now we have our own little place to call home. Not only for us, but it's good for the citizens because they can park, they can sit, and they, they can be in a relaxed environment and deal with some tense issues. So that's very important to us. I'd just like to welcome everybody here today and thank you for coming and keep supporting all of us because we're here to help everyone in the community. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.